In 3.3, we're going to talk about carrying capacity as well as impact on ecosystems. Carrying capacity is the maximum number of individuals in a specific species, specific population, that the environment that they're in can sustain. So when we look at what that number is, we look at how much food is available, how much space is available versus how much they need, how much water is available, and other things like the number of mates or um, you know, nesting sites, something like that. And that's going to determine how many individuals that can survive in that area. As long as conditions are fantastic, they will continue to grow at an exponential growth rate. But then once, once those environmental pressures start to, um, start to appear, once we have competition for resources, that's when we see the population hit its care capacity. Instead of growing further, they'll dwindle off and then just either stay right up at or below that level. So when a population ex exceeds its carrying capacity, which we denote as K, we see something called overshoot. So um, there are definitely impacts of overshoot because if we there are too many individuals, they're going to use up a lot of those resources, which can then in turn de um, diminish the uh, the carrying capacity. So when overshoot occurs, then we see dieback happen. So dieback because you know these resources have been depleted, you know, there's just too many individuals in the area, we see a tremendous amount of death occur. Um, and it's because of lack of available resources. But then also you have things like famine, disease, um, conflict between the individuals for those resources. So it's not just this perfect, okay, we're at that carrying capacity, okay, no more babies. It's it takes a while to under, like for that population to kind of level out. So initially you'll see overshoot and then you'll see die back. But then you're gonna for a while kind of see the same thing happen because as it falls below the carrying capacity, resources are good again. So there's an abundance of resources and so you'll see them overshoot again, but not as much because it's not you know, the, the perfect condition of um, the initial population. And so you'll kind of see it oscillate back and forth until they level out. And once they level out, we call that the carrying capacity. And that's like the perfect balance. Um, and this is what I was saying, that carrying capacity, because of the resource use, can decrease over time because when you, when you have overshoot, you have a tremendous use of resources. And so that might degrade the resources available uh, in the future. And so then you can see the population that it can be sustained actually decrease over time. And so there's a lot of, a lot of math involved that we're not going to get into, but you just have to know the basic concept of this. Uh, and I just want to go back to this just to make sure we hit on why our selected and case selected species are called what they are. So the are selected species, because they reproduce so quickly, uh, their population will explode, but then, you know, you shoot the carrying capacity and then you have this massive dieback um, because again they have a short lifespan and then they have a small population a lot of resources and they'll instantly grow a lot and then go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and so it's kind of random really and that's because their their species is so dependent on growth rate that's why we call them our selected species R is symbolized or sim R is the abbreviation for growth rate However, case selected species, their population grows a lot more slowly. And so when they hit carrying capacity, it's not as drastic of a thing um, because they have you know, longer lifespan, very few babies. And so if they hit carrying capacity and go above it, it's more easily noticed, I guess you could say. Um, they're not going to have a whole bunch of babies and they'll all die. So we have a little bit more and then we'll see a sl you know, slow dieback. And then it might go a little bit above carrying capacity and dieback versus this high growth rate, uh, a lot of offspring being produced. They can quickly over, over exceed the carrying capacity. All right, now it's your turn to describe carrying capacity and the impact it has on ecosystems.